Developing at four, a sudden collapse, a parking garage crumbles, and at least one worker is dead. A massive search and rescue effort at this construction site on Miami-Dade College's Doral campus, and it continues at this hour. Good afternoon. At least eight others injured, some of them trapped in that rubble. Truly remarkable that they survived, and live Team 7 coverage of this collapse begins with 7's Brandon Beyer on the scene in Doral with exactly what happened. Brandon. Well, Mike, we can tell you right now that uh, the person they are actively trying to rescue inside of this uh, collapsed five-story garage is pinned inside of a car. There is a doctor there uh, next to him. He is alert. He is talking, but he is pinned inside of, a, I believe, a, a pickup truck. Not sure if it's a medium-sized pickup truck uh, or a smaller, uh, smaller pickup, but we do know he is pinned inside of his car uh, below all of the rubble. There are also, at this time, we know, three people still unaccounted for. That number just coming from Miami-Dade Fire and Rescue. I want to show you the video just to give you an idea of just how huge uh, this scene is here. You're looking at Skyforce HD scene uh, video from earlier. The call came out of the collapsed garage 1140 this morning. So it's been nearly uh, five hours ago at this point. And uh, the word was that a five-story garage here at Miami-Dade College, the West Campus in Doral, had collapsed. This is a garage that is under construction, being built uh, to accommodate students, parking issues, faculty, a garage that was under construction for some reason. At this point, they have really no idea what caused it to collapse, uh, but all five stories fell to the ground. Now, uh, we know four people were taken to the hospital. Three people were checked out there on scene. They were okay and uh, went on their way. Two people for a brief period of time were trapped inside. At one point, they thought they might have to amputate uh, a man's legs, both of his legs. They brought in a surgeon just in case they had to do that surgery on the spot there beneath all of that rock and concrete. Fortunately, thankfully, they were able to free that man without having to amputate his legs. Again, there is still one person uh, trapped inside. They're talking with him. He is alert and conscious. There are three people unaccounted for. Uh, a couple hours ago, we had a chance to talk with a uh, painter who was working on the crew. He was not inside the garage, but he says he was about 50 yards away. This is what he saw. I just seen a lot of smoke, the building shaking, and, and it just started collapsing. Were you in there? No, I was working outside in a boom, but I had a clear view. Did you see people running out? Yeah, everybody ran out for their safety. Okay, back to some live pictures from Skyforce HD, who is hovering above the scene here. You'll notice it is a giant uh, rescue operation that is underway. Still one person inside there they are talking with. Uh, the surgeon is there with him as well. He's trapped inside of a car. Three more still unaccounted for. Our team coverage will continue throughout the day. We are live in Doral, Brandon Byer, 7 News. All right, Brandon, and from you, our live team coverage continues now with Rosh Lowe. He has more on the search and rescue efforts there on the ground. Rosh? Our angle here is all about the rescue, and I want to show you something before we get to our video. The numbers here are staggering. We are told more than 300 firefighters are on scene. They have used about 80 members of their search and rescue team, canine dogs. Now, as you look at these live pictures before we get into video, the reason for this real massive effort here is that when firefighters first arrived at the scene of this garage collapse, they did not know how many people were trapped under the rubble. Let's get to our video that we shot a short time ago. Of course, they do know now that there is one person that they're still trying to rescue out of that parking garage, which was under construction, that collapsed. Brandon mentioned that there were several people who came out of that garage who were taken to um, an area hospital with minor injuries, but now they are dealing with two things. They are dealing with trying to rescue this person, we are told is trapped in a vehicle, in a truck. In addition to all of that, they are still looking for three people who are unaccounted for. What they will do is they will utilize those members of the urban search and rescue team who are equipped with those canine dogs and they will go around every inch of that collapsed structure to make sure that there is nobody else there that is trapped underneath the rubble. Speaking of the numbers of the people involved in this effort, 
Let's take a listen to a captain from the Miami-Dade Fire Department. Over 96 fire rescue units from Miami-Dade County are here on scene. Literally up to 300 fire, re fire rescue professionals that are here. As you know, you've also seen members of our specialized urban search and rescue team. For a 25-year veteran of this fire department, this is one of the largest collapses that I have seen here in Miami-Dade County. And that's an important statement right there from a captain. He, you just heard him say that there. He's been here for quite some time, 25 years, as you're looking at live pictures from 7 Sky Force. And, and as he put it, one of the largest collapses he has seen. Back down here on the ground, another uh, live picture of the efforts that continue at this hour. This is known as a pancake collapse, meaning that the structure just basically pancaked in, caved in, and it's in that corner right over my shoulder there. They're actively trying to rescue um, one person there. Coming up tonight at 5 o'clock, there was video that was shot by Miami-Dade Fire Rescue. Pretty incredible video of one of the people that they were actually able to bring out. So we'll bring you all of that video coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. For now, we are live in Doral. Rosh Lowe, 7 News. All right, Raj, thanks. And from Raj and Brandon, we got a look from the ground. Now let's go to the sky. 7's Ralph Rayburn is in Skyforce HD. And in fact, he was first to arrive on the scene this morning. Ralph? Yeah, long day. Uh, right now, we want to bring you update on, on what we're seeing here from Skyforce HD. And as you can see, we have firefighters here who are working on one of the slabs of concrete here in the center of this uh, parking garage that collapsed where it pancaked down. Right below them, about 20 feet down, in that parking garage is where that truck is. Now, we flew over the top of this uh, area earlier, and we were able to look straight down into a hole that had, uh, had uh, created itself when this thing collapsed. And we could see firefighters, we could see a medic, and we could see ventilation ducting that had been run down there to get fresh air down to where the firefighters, paramedics, and a doctor, the surgeon that was there, was treating that uh, victim. They have uh, uh, IV'd this guy, uh, given him an intravenous, uh, as, you, as you watch now. They're going to try to get a dog to go down in there just to continue this search. Now they want to make sure that they have everybody else uh, completely accounted for. In the meantime, the next plan that we're hearing is that they want to bring in a huge crane. It's this crane right here. They want to get it into the property and uh, get it close so that they can start to lift some of those slabs off. So what they've done is they've got a big forklift here and they're moving debris and other construction materials out of the way of this area right here, which is right adjacent to the area where the firefighters and paramedics are working to save that construction worker's life. So as soon as they get that cleared, the plan is to move this big crane in. They've got to assemble it. You can see all the extra hardware and things that they have on the secondary truck there. They'll load that on, get that up, and then start to uh, uh, strap down on these large pieces that are marked. The fire department folks have already marked them. You can see the uh, orange markings there where they're planning on picking them up and getting them out of the way so that they can actually get uh, better access to that victim. So that's what we have for you, the latest from Skyforce HD. I'm Ralph Raven reporting live. Ralph, thank you. Well, this parking project was a big deal for the college and not the first time its workers had undertaken a garage this size. We'll have that side of the story coming up tonight at 530.